In this video, we would like to discuss on how the voltage control oscillator working. At the same time, I would like to show you how to calculate it. So what is VCO? Voltage control oscillator. So how does it work? So let's remove the variable resistor from the circuit. Then you can see the circuit will be a stable multivibrator since the circuit in the stable mode. Then we have three external control circuit with three components, one kilo ohms, 10 kilo ohms, and 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Since the components are peaks, peaks resistor and capacitor, and then the output frequency will be peaks. Then we could the control the output frequency. So how could we control the frequency of the circuit? Simply by controlling the control voltage at pin 5 by connecting variable resistor then we have VCO voltage control oscillator circuit. After the calculation of this circuit, then we go back to BCO circuit and calculate it. So let's substitute the two resistor and the capacitor to calculate the output frequency. So the formula will be F equivalent to 1.44 divided by R1 plus 2 times R2 times C or the capacitor. Then substitute the frequency equivalent to 1.44 then divided by R1 plus 2 times R2, which is 1 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms respectively, then multiply by the capacitor 0 0.1 microfarad. Then the frequency will be equivalent to 1.44 divided by 1k plus 2 times 2k will be 21k. Then multiply by 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Then let's convert the resistance from kilo ohms to ohms also the capacitor from microfarad to farad. Then the frequency equivalent to 1.44 divided by 21 raised to the power of 3 times 0 0.1 raised to the power of negative 6. Then, the frequency will be 685.7 Hz. Even though the circuit is BCO or voltage control oscillator and the potentiometer is adjusted to zero ohms, then the frequency 
still 685.7 hertz as you can see the variable resistor one side is connected to the positive rail and the opposite side connected to the ground and the middle pin will be connected to pin 5 which is the control voltage let's say the middle pin of the variable resistor is B sub A the variable resistor acting like a voltage divider by using the voltage divider formula we can calculate the output voltage of the variable resistor which is in the middle pin and controlling the control voltage at pin pipe then we can calculate the output voltage of the variable resistor which is in the middle pin so just substitute the value of the variable resistor so let us adjust the variable resistor to 25 percent of 20,000 ohms equivalent to 5,000 ohms then we can calculate the bottom resistance of the variable resistor 20,000 ohms minus 5,000 ohms equivalent to 15,000 ohms from the bottom side then let's calculate the output voltage of the variable resistor so BA equivalent to voltage in 5 volt times 15,000 ohms and divided by R1 plus R2 which is 5,000 plus 15,000 ohms then B sub A equivalent to 75,000 then divided by 20,000 so B A equivalent to 3.75 volt just keep in mind when the voltage increasing from the middle pin of the variable resistor which is B sub A then the output frequency will be decreasing same time when the voltage is decreasing then the output frequency will be increasing this time let adjust the variable resistor to 50% then Twenty thousand ohms will be divided by two. So now we have ten thousand ohms in both sides. Then you can calculate the voltage output at the variable resistor by using the same formula or you can directly divide it by 2 the BCC which is 5 volt divided by 2 equivalent to 2.5 volt 
as you can see, the voltage will be decreasing from 3.75 volt down to 2.5 volt. Therefore, the output frequency at pin 3 will be increasing. So, our discussion is done. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. See you in the next episode.